please welcome to the stage, Christian. Hi, I'm Christian. I'm a designer who cares about social equity. I'm half Swedish, half Mexican. I am a Swexican. <laughs> I often hear I don't look Swedish. True, I'm not blonde, blue-eyed. I don't wear a helmet with horns on my head. And I don't walk around with an IKEA catalog tucked in my back pocket. I do, in fact, look very Latino. I have the dark eyes, the thick black hair, and tan skin, the kind that doesn't require a trip to Mallorca every six months to stay toasty. <laughs> I grew up in Mexico. There, I enjoyed a stable supply of delicious avocados, radio playing, heartbreaking songs 24-7, and Mexican wrestling, where you might sometimes see a little old lady hitting a wrestler with her sandal. <laughs> I was shipped to Sweden as soon as I finished high school. Some things in particular were hard to get used to, like talents that suddenly were useless in Sweden. <laughs> take, take idioms, for example. Ya te cargo el payaso. It wouldn't make sense if I just translated to, the clown has already carried you. It actually means, shit hit the fan. I also learned so many lyrics to classic Mexican songs, like, Matalas con una sobredosis de ternura. Thank you. That means kill them. <laughs> With an overdose of tenderness. Trust me, it's romantic. But what I miss the most is the cursing. Ah, cabron. Oh, fucker. No mames. Come on. Although the direct translation is a bit weird. It's, don't breastfeed. <laughs> <laughs> they know it. <laughs> in comparison, the worst thing you can say in Swedish is something like, Dra ut helvete! Go to hell! <laughs> but moving to Sweden wasn't all that bad. Especially since my mom, Marie, prepared me for the inevitable move to her home country. She shaped me into a Latin lover. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so how did she do this? <laughs> First, she made sure that I always ate healthy. This is really hard in the place that is home to pocket-sized chips, Coca-Cola machines in schools, and fried quesadillas. The last one is awesome, by the way. I gorge on them every time I'm in Mexico. And that's because I'm an adult now, with my very own money. <laughs> she also made sure that I speak Swedish flawlessly, and without an accent. I think she knew that women only like dark, handsome men with very strong accents when they're on TV. Hola, my name is Christian, and I work as a designer. As a creator of great experiences, I stimulate the user in the very deepest of places. <laughs> Hot, right? But no, in the real world, nobody really speaks like that. I mean, it's way too sexy to be taken seriously in any work <laughs> in a workplace environment. Can you imagine having a discussion with Soro about key performance indicators, but everything he says just sounds like he's trying to seduce you? <laughs> we will make sure that anyone can find our endpoint. <laughs> this will indicate to us the rate at which the users make it to completion. <laughs> and thus, a happy ending. <laughs> and speaking of sexy, let's talk about haircuts. <laughs> I'm actually terrified every time I go get a haircut. I have this theory that every hairdresser will take one look at my Latino good looks. They'll say something like, hey amigo, I got you and then I'll end up looking like some pimped-up gigolo. <laughs> Please laugh some more. I <laughs> and speaking of fears and stereotypes, 
It is 2018. The internet offers us so many ways to share our thoughts and opinions. Like dogs are better than cats. My friend Jenny is the best. Papaya is the best fruit. <laughs> However, it has led to a spike in the sharing of a lot of dumb shit. Like hate speech, xenophobic ideas, and more cat pics. So I've been thinking, how would I, with my problem-solving design skills, bring people together? Honestly, I have no clue. But here are some KPI suggestions as presented by Soro. <laughs> Number one, people engaging in acts of love, supporting equal rights, social equity, and kindness. Let's bring this up to a solid 69%. <laughs> Number two, no more fake news, zero. Not zorro, zero. <laughs> it's about time we use our smartphones for something smart. And lastly, each and every one of us is here to love each other, 100%. Zorro, <laughs> out. I think Zorro needs to go to the UN. <laughs> what do you think? That would be awesome. Thank you so much. One more time for Christian. <laughs>